You know our first guest is a bad man. Louis Theroux makes the noise for me. Have a seat. Thank you. Have a seat. Guys, please make some noise for the one and only Louis Farouk. I've got so much root. Where shall I be? I could be. Do whatever you want. Up here. That's not making you uncomfortable, is it? I'm not, uh, I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> but if this was on a bus, I'd be like, Big Man, why are you going to sit next to me? <laughs> hey, Louis, thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for blessing the thing. Pleasure. I've been checking out your stuff from way back when, yeah? Thank you. But one thing me and you are both advocates on. You love Mary Jane. Yes. The cannabis plant. I heard you, you love marijuana as well. I, 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 I... I... <laughs> Say it with the chest, Louis. Say it with the I believe in legalisation. I lived in LA for a couple of years where recreational marijuana has been legalised. You can buy vapes, edibles, the whole thing about, oh, but the smoke's bad for your lungs, that's been put out of the equation. And I, I've observed the laws of California and I thought it was a duty that I had... <laughs> to experiment a little bit, or rather continue research, the research. experimentation and the research that I'd been conducting as a teenager <laughs> uh, and in producing some interesting yeah. results that will be in a forthcoming paper. <laughs> Are there any drawbacks of, of legalising weed? There's, look, there, it's an intoxicant, right? So, like, everything's got a downside. It can be a trigger to mental health issues, of course. You know, like, alcohol's legal. Is alcohol good for everyone? No, Definitely quite not. clearly not. So, you have to take all of that on board. Basically, I support legalisation. I think that it would be positive. Yeah. But, but... <laughs> well, Ernest, yeah, if you're a lucky day, yeah, as it's being me, yeah, I've got the strongest CBD in the market right now, yeah? And I'm going to give you one of my gummies, a CBD yeah. gummy. Get me yeah? in It's not going to mash you up. Have you got any that do mash you up? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss man, I beg you, boss man, and some of the power gummies. Here we go. Take Thank you. This. What's the recommended? I'll take two of them. You're, you're a professional. Take two, my okay. friend. But be go. careful. If you need some water, let me know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then, in 20 minutes... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Louis, is it true you got busted in America for smoking weed? I did, yeah. I did, I'm afraid. Um, when was this, though? I'm not especially proud of it, but I was... I was um, in my 20s, I was trying to buy some weed in Washington Square Park. Um, in Manhattan. And I couldn't imagine you buying weed, though, because you look like a fed. Hi there, two weeds, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I could not imagine you buying it. This all buy it for you. It doesn't look that spectacular. All you need to imagine is me walking around and walking back and looking at various people to see if you're getting a bit of eye contact. <laughs> and then $10 bag, $20 bag. And then I went round the corner and a, a van pulled up and some police got out and said... Um, what, did get, it, you're it, under arrest, get in the van. I'm like, why? So don't empty out your pockets. That's right. And I had my little bag of weed and they said, in you go. It was more annoying than anything oh. else. I'm like, great, now I'm going to go home and just have to have a glass of wine. <laughs> I, a few days went by and they gave me a court date, but as it happened, I was filming for, for, for a TV show. Hmm. And I called them up and I said, I'm not going to be there, I'm out of town. And, um... <clears throat> White said, privilege, well, you know? I know. <laughs> White privilege! <laughs> oh, snap! Yeah. <laughs> so, boom, yeah? Yes. Have you been in an English prison before? Mm, I, I was in Wormwood Scrubs for the carol service. I've done a tiny bit... <laughs> what? <laughs> they do a very nice carol service. Well, you, went to, you went to the prison to sing songs? Yeah. <laughs> I try and be involved. It was do you know how stressed I would have been? I would have been like, yeah, Lou Free's yeah. gonna come in, I'm gonna tell him how dangerous it was. What the fuck are these men doing, man? What's he singing? <laughs> I did that, yeah, just because I was doing a tiny bit of volunteer work for a charity, and they said, come along to the, the carol service. It's a very nice service. It was. Uh, <laughs> but actually, that's as far as it goes. Most of my prison stuff and jail stuff's been immersive documentaries in the US. I spent three weeks in Miami jail, which is supposed to be one of the most dangerous. He looks like he wants to bang you in your face, because he looks so angry. <laughs> he looks raged. You know, you know when you go into the prisons, do you feel intimidated when you go in there? Those guys weren't even that hard, those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were just... That was show business. Yeah, what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm respecting your gangster yeah. on the stage. That's what I'm just saying, isn't it? Yeah? 